to, to do this task of making beeswax wraps. So, um, fabric of your choice, whether that's something you've decorated yourself already or something pre-printed, but cotton fabric, 100% um, cotton fabric. Some beeswax wraps pellets, but they need to be food grade. Some greaseproof paper, an iron, and an ironing board. Now I've chosen to put a piece of wood covered in a towel on top of my ironing board just to protect my actual ironing board because sometimes the wax does seep through. Um, right, and then we'll be ready to go. So we're going to make some beeswax wraps. So you can either, so here are some that I've made earlier. And sometimes I like to make them into their little food bags. Um, so you can either decorate the fabric first just using a plain cotton or you can use some pre-printed fabric but it does need to be cotton and it does need to be close weave um, so as I said here are a couple that I made earlier that I decorated myself just before you then actually go on to make the beeswax wrap um, you need to just make sure that the fabric's dry and just use a fabric paint is absolutely fine. You can use stamps and whatever you like to, to make them nice and fancy. Um, great, so moving on then. So you, so I've got my fabric, I've got my piece of fabric that I'm gonna make into my, into my beeswax wrap. So I'm gonna come across here. It's really, really easy. We're just gonna, Pop it down on top of the greaseproof paper and add some of the beeswax wax pellets to plug the iron in. And I'm just going to scatter them across. You want to come a bit closer for this, really. So that they're nice and generous generously added so that when they melt they soak into the fabric and then we're going to pop our second sheet of grease proof paper down over the top And then we're going to apply the iron. So just gently press in, melting the wax, trying to spread it out so that it covers all of the fabric. Really trying to make sure that you're melting it all. And you want your iron on nice and hot for doing this. If you didn't want to do this ironing, you can do it by laying the piece of fabric out on a baking sheet and popping it in the oven on a, a low oven um, and keeping a really close eye on it. But I actually find this is a better method of, of spreading the wax out. So I can see all of my wax pellets have dissolved, but I can also see, if you can see here, that I've missed bits where it's definitely not got any wax on. So again, I'm just going to go back in and add a few more pellets to the areas that I know I've missed and then just iron back over the top again. To make sure all of that fabric's nicely, nicely saturated with the wax, but try not to make sure it's oversaturated otherwise it makes them a little bit difficult and the uh, difficult to use and the wax sits on the top of the fabric I put the greaseproof paper down on top of the newspaper otherwise sometimes it picks up the print from the newspaper onto the, the fabric which is a little bit sad when you spend a long time uh, decorating it yourself so I'm pretty happy that that's all covered now. I mean, it's, sometimes it's quite easy to see through the paper that you've you've covered it all. 
being careful not to burn yourself when you uh, take it out because it will be quite hot. And there we are. One wax wrap. Ready to go and ready to use. Just let me to let it dry. Thank you.